Welcome Patrick Kelly, co-owner of JJ Kelly Bridal Salon to Parties Extra. I'm Helen Ford Wallace and we are at the Oklahoma's Video Studio in downtown Oklahoma City. And we're going to talk about the beautiful dresses at JJ Kelly that are being purchased for the November Beaux-Arts Ball, the Bachelor's Ball, and for all your special weddings, both local and throughout the United States. So tell us, Patrick, what's going on at the store? Ah, uh, you know what's trending? I think that's a big that's a big thing. What what's going on in the industry, and um, how is JJ Kelly moving to satisfy that bride? Um, and so we, we're always, when we go to New York, we're always looking for something new and fresh and what's going on. And, and with the, the rise of social media now, you, you, you kind of have to see where the, the big footprint is and how they're making a splash. And so I've always loved Galia Lahav, which is a fantastic designer out of Israel. And I've just been, you opine on them that you were like, wow, I'd love to bring that to Oklahoma City. And we, you did. And we, we did, <laughs> we did actually. Um, they are they are the fashion forward, they're, they're for the sexy bride. They use um, a sheer fabric that it just disappears into the skin uh, so they can create more of the, the V-necks and the V-backs because back in the day, there wasn't any fabric here mm -hmm. to do that. And now um, they have, some companies do it, but they do it very, very well. They also do, the, are they the ones with the three-dimensional flowers? Yes, yes. And, and so they, they kind of blend into the dress. They do, but they pop. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so it's really exciting to see it because their models are beautiful and you're sitting there just in a wow kind mm -hmm, of sense, mm -hmm. but you want to you, you take it home. Mm -hmm. And so now for that couture bride, we can show that look. And, and they just, they have absolutely been great. So we're super excited and, and I'm, I'm, the wow factor I think <laughs> is, is what they have. And uh, it, like when you're on the runway and we're in New York, usually that's the last wow dress mm -hmm, where the mm -hmm. designer kind of like lets it all go and you see how great it is. But then what Galil Lahav does is they put that in every dress. Mm -hmm. You're wowed mm -hmm. on every dress. How do they do that? How do they, how is the fabrication so beautiful? And how is the fit so well? And they've mastered that. You have some good, uh, wonderful, I know they're not good, they're wonderful British designers, I think too. So tell us about them. They have that luxurious feel. To they're more person. on the conservative mm -hmm. ball gown. Mm -hmm. They really, they, they're really picky about their fabrication. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of polyester and their silks. There's not a lot of, of, of inexpensive. It's all about the fabric. Like, uh, like my grandmother used to say, it's, it's about the good stuff, you know, <laughs> but they're fitted too. They're fitted, mm -hmm. but they're more fitted in the bodice and then they flare. Mm -hmm. They do a little, they don't do a lot of fit and flare, but the, they're, the British designers are more Audrey Hepburn. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful kind of uh, fullness to it and, and the fabrication, but the, the foundation and the gown, if you see them in the magazine and you go to put them on in the store, you get that same feeling oh, wow. because the Mikado that they use is a heavy enough fabric that that is very forgiving on the silhouette. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they're, I mean, you have beautiful dresses. That's oh. 300 styles. At least, uh, at least. And more probably. And more. Uh -huh. yeah. So, um, the uh, some of the of the bridal dresses have color. Is that right? That's right. So tell us about that. Well, um, uh, Stephanie Allen is a is a, another British designer that we have, and she can do very plain, very very Audrey, but then she can do color. So for your garden weddings, they the the hand paintwork on the flowers are just decadent. So we <laughs> we, we we can marvel. At, at what they do and how they can produce something so beautiful um, and still be can go through a wedding mm -hmm. and still look great. So yeah, the, the looks are, are, are getting even so more we've exciting. Got, so we've got Israel and we've got British and US. We've got some US we have some, oh, we have some stunning uh, looks from, from New York, from Haley Page and Lazaro. Uh, we also have from the West Coast, we mm -hmm. have um, Claire Pettibone, and then we have Monique Lulier, of course, all in Beverly Hills. 
and so they just just the best of turning everything. out gorgeous gorgeous dresses well okay so how about the debutante balls what do they wear what do these people wear do they wear some of these gowns they're more on the audrey hepburn side they're mm -hmm. more conservative mm -hmm. um but still beautiful and that's we when we go to new york we're looking for designers that can mimic and be in between the debutante side mm -hmm. and the bridal side right so right. we want I think it, it translates really well when you get the right designer. The English designers do it very well. They do the big box pleats. They have the you know portrait necklines. They have the sleeveless. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's that just. I was going to ask you: Are they sleeveless, strapless? What are they? What are they? They with? do it all. Oh, they do mm -hmm. it all. And for the debutantes, that's it's very acceptable. Mm -hmm. um, and then they do the long, um, um, the, the their, their their opera length kid kid gloves. Uh -huh. That. That beautiful silk or um, leather, leather from mm -hmm. Italy is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So they and then they wear their pearls and mm -hmm. pearls and studs only. Mm -hmm. no, is no, that nothing, right? Nothing hanging in the ear. So, um, but they have to have full skirts because they do the the that curtsy. They have to curtsy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's a deep bow. It's a huge bow to the floor. They it, practice and practice. <laughs> <laughs> I so the dress far. has to go with them. <laughs> it does. If it's if it if it's a fit and flare that's not going to work. It's not going to happen. No, but that that that's kind of amazing to have that many dresses. That's gorgeous. Well, we you know, we're one of the few stores that really go to New York looking for designers that can design for debutantes. Mm -hmm. And so I think that kind of sets us apart. And mm -hmm. it's where we want to be. We You all go to market a lot. We go once a year. Once a year. You, we'd love to go twice a year, mm -hmm. but we're too busy in mm -hmm. April, so we go in October, yeah. which has become a, a big banner month for really? weddings. Girls are trying to get out of the heat a little bit, so that's a, probably it's probably good to start early. Okay, so how about for the balls for the men? What are they wearing? For the men, we do. Um, we've been doing the men's for a while, and we were so for excited the Beaux -Arts. about for the uh -huh. Beaux Arts and, and the Bachelors. We just picked up the Bachelors uh -huh. um, last year, and we're super excited. A lot of the guys that are in the Beaux Arts will will be in the Bachelors, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. they were seemed to be a little frustrated because they couldn't stay at the same store. Oh yes. So. Mm -hmm. That's that's a great base that we've covered for the, as a service for the men. They just say, oh great. They call us up and say, we're in the bachelors. I'm like great. We just move their measurements over and we get the order. Going. So do they do black tie or tails? What it, how, what do they do? They do. It's a white piquet tie, uh -huh. a, a piquet vest, and mm -hmm. a piquet shirt, mm -hmm. and it's a black tail mm -hmm. with black pants and gloves. Looking of very fine. They it it is, it's the highest. You can't as a man you can't dress any better. Mm -hmm. than tails. Oh, Well, okay, so um, we talked a little bit about what the men are wearing to their weddings. So you, there are a few changes or some I different ideas, I guess. Mm -hmm. So tell mm -hmm. us about those. It, I think it depends on the location. Mm -hmm. If you're getting married in a barn or if you're getting married <laughs> at, um, you know, a kind of an outside venue with a lot of flowers. They may go in the the blue category, which has been navy or navy or a light navy. Um, they've 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 kind of branched out a little bit in the blue, and they they look uh, formal but a little bit more informal in the different shades of blue. And these uh, men's suits, blue or tails or black, they're more fitted. Is that correct? They have come out with an ultra, they call it an ultra slim fit. Yeah. And most go up to about a size 50, but some of the ultra slims can even go up to a 65. It's just another dart, another pleat that they put in, or less of a pleat and more of a dart, but some extra things that, that give you more of, uh, you kind of see your figure as a man, mm -hmm. instead of where we're used to just kind of cover it up mm -hmm. and uh, with big baggy pants. Now it's an updated look, they have a slim fit pant, um, it 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 really is nice to see the the fashion change a little bit, but then keep a little bit of the of the the older style and the with, traditional. And the uh -huh. traditional, yes. The well, I think that's kind of trending. That's kind of exciting. It's very trending. Uh -huh. I, I saw it, and I, as soon as I saw that blue suit, I was like, I want that. <laughs> I called my representative, and I was like, I, Lydia, I need that now uh -huh. in my store. And uh -huh. she's like, You think? And I go, No, this is going to be big. Uh -huh. And sure enough, it, it's still going. Taking it's still off. Going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember the chocolate suits way back when they were. Mm -hmm. They couldn't keep them in stock, mm -hmm. and then one year they just disappeared. 
no one was wearing a chocolate suit. Could, they couldn't make them fast enough, and then the next year, it, it, the bottom dropped out. I can't explain it. I don't think that's going to happen with uh, no, Navy or that, Light I Navy know, suits. No, blue's kind of been around a while. Everyone looks good in mm -hmm. blue. Mm -hmm. So you are president of I Do Appointments. I and am. you started that, I think. I did. Uh -huh. uh, my lovely sister Jane came up with the idea mm -hmm. um, in 2008, and then we formed a LLC in 2009, and really started it moving forward in 2010. Uh, we've we probably hit we've almost hit 15,000 appointments. That's amazing. That is amazing. So how does For it work? work? Oh, well, it, if the bride uh, finds our website, and sh it, there are many wedding professionals on that site mm -hmm. from cakes and catering and florists and photography and bridal salons and, and, and limousines and, and the, you know these brides need all this service before next year May 26 let's say <laughs> yes. there's a need and there's a you have to fill that need so for us uh, we wanted something that was very hands-on that you could do in your bunny slippers at midnight because no one you can't get a hold of anyone in this <laughs> industry it seems like um, at midnight or sometimes it's hard in general because mm -hmm. they're busy doing photo shoots mm -hmm. or, or doing portraits or, or doing whatever they're doing mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> this is like hey I'm gonna see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock and a text and emails go out and then it goes 24 hours 24 hours notification and then a two-hour notification so it basically chases the bride to where you are as a wedding professional and we find that still very exciting it's it's not new but the the way it chases and then, then I'm, as a wedding professional I'm getting the same notification so mm -hmm. I know Julie Smith is going to be married mm -hmm. at this date our appointment is here I can Text, I can touch the text message and call her and tell her I'm So that's all in real time. All in real time. Mm -hmm. And we, it's cakes and it's flowers and it's photography. Catering. Catering. Uh, uh, venue, probably. Venue, very much. Mm -hmm. Venues have exploded in our industry. Five years ago, you, you, if you needed a venue with more than 150 or 200 people, they were very hard to find. Really? Now, uh, like in Brides of Oklahoma, that magazine, there's over 60 wedding professionals just in the venue category. Wow. It is, it, in Oklahoma, obviously, we love that venue mm -hmm. business because it's, you know, so I guess people have plots of land and they want to build on it and put a pretty property on it and people have really responded. And they've done it. Well, that's great. Well, how about the bridesmaids? Um, we didn't talk about that. Any special new colors for bridesmaids? I think it's all, it, you know, Fuchsia isn't there anymore. It used to be a long time ago. Uh, but, you know, bright colors are always in. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, I always say, when is it? You know, when's the wedding? Where are we going to, um, you know, what's your favorite color? And then be able to build around that. Mm -hmm. And then the, the designers have all have like much more colors than they did way back when. And um, I think we talked about this that. We are back to everyone looking alike, maybe more so. I hope so, because <laughs> then if you if if it's starting to come back that way, where you know a few years ago it was all about just pick your own dress and pick your own own, mm -hmm. own style. Well, in the in the scheme of things, you start to look like one of the guests, mm -hmm. and maybe she's not wearing the shoes that you would have probably picked for her. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe it's not the right color. And then you've got different dye lots. If I order a dress on one day, and then two weeks later, I have one of my other bridesmaids order a dress on another day, and it happens to be black or any color, those dye lots are not gonna be the same. So it really is better to, I mean, it, it, for picture purposes and for uh, looking at, it, at the front of the church or the venue or whatever, it looks yeah. good. I think I'm I'm more of a traditionalist. That I, is traditional. I that it? is very you know mm -hmm. it's very luxe when you put everyone in the same the same color and the same pattern and the same dye lot and they they are right next to you and it's really bridesmaids color should be more of what the bride looks best in mm -hmm. because all that color is all around her and all the pictures mm -hmm. you can't get away from your bridesmaids they're just all <laughs> over you all the time during uh -huh. your wedding so uh -huh. um, it's got to be a complementary color to the bride. Now that's. That's a nice way to, people should look at it that way. I they think. should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about accessories? Do we have jewels or tiaras? Big or what? is 
back. Big? Big is back. For, t for everything? For big tiaras and big, Jewelry. big necklaces and earrings. We, we've gone, that's what's happening and it's, it's fun because it's kind of, it's kind of like, look at me. It brings the look up mm -hmm. and, and girls want to be noticed. Mm -hmm. And I, we were real excited. Gold's back in. We've, we've gold, uh, gold. Uh, we've, we've, we haven't had gold for a while. We haven't. And it's their, their I rings like are, uh, it's, it's classic. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coming. I see on their wedding rings they're bringing back gold mm -hmm. um, when I they like cut that. when they walk in. It's not all silver, mm -hmm. um, which I still love. Silver, it's mm -hmm. beautiful, but you know, big tiaras in in gold. We love them. What we about can't keep in stock. Veils? Do they put the tiaras with a veil or uh -huh. not? Or no, oh, yeah, oh yeah. You put your tiara on the top and you put your veil on the back or or underneath the bun or over. Back in the day, the tiaras were almost always with the veil on it. Mm -hmm, I know, you and poke it in there. Now you poke it in there, but mm -hmm. now the girls still like it separate, but uh, depending on how they're work, gonna wear their hair. Do they all have veils? Does everyone? I hope so, <laughs> I hope so. It's so romantic. It, it, a veil really completes the bride. It completes the look. I mean, you got a girl, a pretty girl with her hair up in a white dress. You put a veil on her, she turns into a bride. Mm -hmm. You just don't see it a lot in the magazines, which I think is unfortunate because the designers, oh, you want to look at the dress. Mm -hmm. But the, well, we carry Tony Federici, and that's just a beautiful veil company. And they've been with us for like 25 years or 30 really? years. Yeah. So she started on the back of her boyfriend's motorcycle, driving up saying, hey, you should look at my veils. <laughs> and now she's, she's international. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I've seen some of your veils, and sometimes they have jewels on it. Sometimes they have little appliques on it. Lace. Lace, oh, lace, lace. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Lace veils are Lace the best. veils, it goes with our, well, they go with our, our lace dresses. Oh so it just depends. I mean, they've got little bits of stardust, almost little sparkles in them mm -hmm. that, you know, as you, when you, when they, when you walk by and going down the aisle, you want the, all your guests to go, ooh. Mm -hmm. And then when you walk by and there's this sparkly veil trailing behind you, it's the ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. love the ah, because mm -hmm. you always get the ooh. It's nice to get the <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, you all, you have a very friendly store, too, oh, Patrick. Thank you. I mean, don't, everybody in there is friendly and wants to help. We're desperate to help people, maybe too much. <laughs> we, want, we want to show you what's possible. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of brides come in and they have an idea what they want, and we're very respectful of that. Which is nice. Which mm -hmm. is very nice. I think, mm -hmm. you know, why, why put things on brides that they're not asking for? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we'll say, you know, with your figure and your, the way, you, how tall you are, maybe, just maybe, you might want to slip this on just for me. Mm -hmm. It's free to try on. Who doesn't like trying on beautiful dresses? Mm -hmm. And it might be out of the comfort level, mm -hmm. but sometimes that's the magic. Mm -hmm. I thought I wanted this and now I have this. You know, now it was nothing that, I, I hear that a lot. I, I would have never thought that, but Jane pulled the right dress for me. And I, I'm so excited that she did that because mm -hmm. I, we see him every day. We go into New York and we deal with representatives every day. So it's kind of what we do all the time. Mm -hmm. We're brides, it's like first time in their life. Mm -hmm. Well, I've never done this before. You know? And you, uh, you said something interesting that brides are always the same age. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that's, they're, they never get older. They don't, and we get older, but they do not. Um, 20, the 23 and 24. The, yeah, the 20 something bride. Mm -hmm. um, we do have older brides. We have do brides that wait a little longer. Mm -hmm. They want to get their college done. They want their their um, professional career to be on mm -hmm. set, and that's great. I think, but they might be trending backwards just a little bit. Just a little bit. I, I hope so. I wish I would have got married. I would have met Barbara earlier because <laughs> it's so. Easy. It's much easier on your body to chase around your kids when you're, not, you know, you're not forty yeah. something and you're, <laughs> you're twenty something. That seems it seems would have been better. So you have your I do appointments website. Do you have another website too? Uh, JJ Kelly Bridal. We keep, you know, making sure that's All always exciting and up to date. Um, big pictures, big, you know, big looks and oh wow, you know, you can really go to the site and see. Where is your store located? We're at 122nd and North May. Mm -hmm. And your hours, what are your hours? We're open 10 to 6 Monday through Friday and 10 to 4 on Saturday. Phone number, do you have a phone number? We do, 405-752-0029. Okay, anything else you want to say about the 
the debutantes or the uh, it's time to get those dresses yes yes on it's, order does it take very long to get a dress normally uh, we try to keep as much in stock as we can but uh -huh. a lot of the brides are are the debutantes are coming in and we're ordering mm -hmm. so now is the time mm -hmm. um, sometimes we can get uh, designers to rush their gowns in. Mm -hmm. That's a little more, but it's worth it because mm -hmm. uh, you still have to alter those gowns when they come mm -hmm. in. And you all have good alterations, people. We have be oh, wonderful. I've got, my girls have been with me 30 years. Oh my. I know. That, I don't look that old, do I? <laughs> Not even close. That is amazing. So they really know what to do, too. They only work on couture wedding gowns. Mm -hmm. And so we are just over the moon excited that they're still, still with there, us and still uh -huh. doing well mm -hmm. and they just do such it, it's an art mm -hmm. alterations is an art well I, all of the wedding everything's an art in that realm i think so i mm -hmm. think i think it, they're much it's much more fun um to get someone that really knows what they're doing it's like let's create a bustle let's do something french let's do something fabulous and then they it's a second look Mm -hmm. You know, where normally you just, they just do an American bustle, one, two, three, you're done, next. Mm -hmm. Boring. You mm -hmm. want, you want maybe another look. Unique. Very unique. And we do that with veils and headpieces as well. We want that reception look to be like the, the wow. Wow, she looks a little different. She looks, <laughs> she looks even better. We didn't talk about the flower girls. I think you've got all that covered too. We do. We, they're flower girls. You, you can't go wrong. Find some. I didn't have any. None of my... <laughs> My siblings did when I way back when when I got married, but I wish we would have had some. The Haley Page does a beautiful job. They're they're so stinking darling that um, people ooh and awe over those when they walk in the store, even if they don't and have. And mother of girls. the bride, you got the mother of the bride. We girl. have a, a magnificent selection of mother of the bride with lots of choices. And party dresses. Party you dresses uh -huh. we have. We love party dresses. We just think um, come in. <laughs> you just come in and see. You never know. Um, we're we're kind of a a, a little hidden secret now, mm -hmm. that you know a bridal salon could do a great job at a mother's dress or a party dress or a special occasion dress. We dress a lot of famous people, which mm -hmm. is fun. That is awesome. Well, anything else you want to say about trends or the holidays or? I'm. I'm excited for the holidays. I'm excited for it to get a little cooler outside. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited you invited me. <laughs> Thank you You're very welcome. much. It's welcome anytime. It's always a joy to come come visit you, Helen. You're, you are welcome anytime, and you certainly are in a happy business. Your Debs and your brides always look amazing. Plus, your staff is friendly and helpful. You make weddings fun. We can't wait to see what your sister, Jane Kelly, wears at her own wedding, and that is coming up. I bet you all have had fun planning that one. Thanks for coming by, Patrick, and have a good rest of your summer. You too, Helen. Thank you. Thank you.